Hello and welcome to this little tutorial on how to produce a rendered advanced steel um, image using advanced steel and fusion 360 so we get asked quite a lot um, can we produce some good renders from the Autodesk software and in this video I'm going to take you through the workflow and how we can achieve that so the native advanced steel file um, can be exported into Fusion 360, but I do find that if you export it out to an ASUS solid model, it's much, much quicker and much, much easier. So I'm going to first of all, the first thing I'm going to do is use the Greatec Power Pack and use the command export model to an ASUS solid. So I'm going to export it as a block DWG file. I'm going to give it a file name and then I'm going to specify a network path to the folder where it's going to go and I simply select OK and that will export the model straight out to an ASUS solid model. So with that complete I go back to my desktop and I'm going to launch Fusion 360 so we can get a look at the system and import their exported drawing. So Fusion 360 is going to start, start and then we're going to import the data so i'm just going to go to the upload button i'm going to browse and i'm going to browse to my folder and i've got um advanced steel diffusion there's my drawing i'll click in here and there's my exploded asus version so I simply select open and then i can just upload and you can browse to a folder location within fusion but i'm just going to load it into my default location and you can see it's whirling away on the top left that the, the job is currently important. You can see the status currently, so that's sort of about 50% done. So I'm doing everything live, um, not sort of hiding any of the time scales. So that is slowly doing it. I can click close and you can see up here that it still will give you the, the status of the, you can still see that it is the, it's still working away and then it says upload finished I can simply right click and click the open and that will open this exploded drawing in my fusion platform and there we have it so the first thing I'm going to do is switch my workspace to the the render so that gives me the render tools and then also go to the scene settings just go to that and in, instead of a solid background I'm going to change it to a, a blank white I'm going to take off the ground plane so select OK to that, change it to a white background, then we switch off and then you with most you can control everything through the view cube. So this is sort of what I've got, you can see that everything is exported exactly as I would want. And it's a full 3D solid of everything that's in advanced steel. So the next thing I tend to do is go into setup, look at the appearance of the object. And this is where I've sort of been in this before, this is where you can search for a particular profile or particular material name and you can just drag them but what I've also got is I've also got my favorites already preset stuff that I use so I've sort of got a color scheme for when I render up some some of my materials now when you do this the way that fusion works you find your material and then it's a simple case of drag and drop to the element and as you hover over the element you'll see it, it highlights and then that drops the material onto it and you can see that if you zoom in on it so it's a simple drag and drop. I like to do my plates in yellow, my anchors in blue, and my bolts in green. So I've sort of got my plates go yellow, but you can go and apply any type of material. Again, just depends on how you really want to do it. Most people sort of find a, a preset standard that they go with, but again, I'm just gonna go back to my favorites. you can do that you can multiple select objects as well using the windows control buttons and then i can drag it as a group you can explore the components through the the browser but it will just show them as a body so you will not know what exactly that element is until you actually select it so i'm going to minimize that again i'm just going to select my major components of my my stairs and then I simply drag it to that. So it's a very simple case, just a drag and a drop to place it on the material. 
Let me zoom in. I'm just going to put that on that one. Just a galvanized steel on that and that. So within a couple of minutes, you can quickly go through the system. I'm just going to use my view cube to view it from the, the left. I'm just going to do a window to select all that. And just another quick window through there. And again, that's all going to be galvanized. So you can see very quickly I've been able to go in, just apply a material like that. I'm just going to minimize down the material. And it's really rather simple within the system. You find the view that you want. So I'm going to say I want something like that. And we're just going to do an in canvas render. So you can select the pull down in canvas render and the system will go through and it will do a number of iterations where it will cycle through and do a much cleaner. And you can see that it actually sort of like the standard render you would normally get with an AutoCAD, but obviously it's a lot, lot quicker to do. So you can see that within about 20, 30 seconds. You can see I'm currently at 16 seconds. And if you're happy with the render, I can simply just go hit the save button where I can capture the image, select okay. And I can say JH1. Save it as a PNG type, click save, and it will save the render and then it will appear in your gallery. And you can see that it's currently uploading the image from Fusion straight into the, the cloud. And there we have our new image. We can also start to use the cloud rendering so if we've got some cloud rendering credits, obviously with me being an Autodesk reseller, I can get quite a lot of credits, but I can go to sort of that size of an image, final, less well. If I do it to a smaller image, it should go quite quick. So it's less than 20 minutes. And if I click render, it will save the document and then upload it to the cloud. You can see down the bottom, you've got the little clock button where it has indeed and you can see up here it says whirling away that that is my image and if I click open and let's just stop the in cloud render you can see that when you click it it says it's currently rendering render queue time less than 20 minutes but that again is for a cloud render so if we just click cancel to that close and just i didn't confirm it the first time that is that and just let me refresh the the image and you'd see that the one I when the in canvas render now available I can double click it and that will open in my web browser you see that it automatically adds it to my Autodesk 360 hub and there I have very very quickly within a couple of steps, export out of advanced steel into fusion and then upload the render. So I hope that's been helpful. Just a little workflow that I've developed for producing some better images using advanced steel and fusion 360.